As you can see there, look. I completely fucked up bottling. <laughs> Bit of an afterthought. Uh, you know, I used one of these little demijohns for the first time. But what I didn't really think about was how was I going to bottle it? <laughs> so I got my auto siphon, and obviously it doesn't fit. Yeah, I now, I now realise they, they make smaller versions of these and I've, I've ordered one, but didn't have one at the time and I just cleaned all the bottles and did everything. You know how, you know what it's like, you, you clean everything, you're all prepared, you're all ready, you get this out, you pop the siphon in and oh, shit, how am I going to get the beer from here to here? <laughs> so what I ended up doing was just literally pouring it into to a bu another bucket. Maybe I should have waited the night, um, but I didn't have any patience. So I just decided to then siphon it out into the bottles. And of course, uh, usually I use, I, I, I've got a, a bucket, the little bottler thing we all use. And it's so easy, you just pop the bottle up, boom, 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 boom done. Um, <laughs> I didn't have, and, you know, it, for, for such a small batch, I thought I'd just use a siphon. And I bought this little, little tap here. And of course, that doesn't fucking fit, does it? <laughs> so my idea was, you know, just pour it in the bottle, take it out. But yeah, no, my water siphon's too big, so I've ordered a new one. Especially for Demi Johns. Uh, and I made a complete mess, an absolute mess. I managed to get four Grosch bottles. Uh, with luckily with not too much sediment and then I've got two like this where it's up here <laughs> so I'm probably just gonna bin these yeah so that was a disaster happy homebrew Wednesday guys hope you all had a lovely weekend rather than shout outs I've decided on, on my homepage there as you can see has a bit saying featured channels I've noticed other people put Check out my friends. I'm gonna put home brewer of the week. Uh, the home brew brewer that I recommend you all check out. I'm gonna try and update that once a week. To start off with, I'll put a link below, but I'm gonna direct you all to Beanham Homebrew. He hasn't got enough subscribers, guys, and he's he's worth watching. His videos are maybe maybe some of them are a bit too long, but. They're worth watching, and he's he's just starting out. He's made, uh, I think he's made six or seven brews, and yeah, go go check him out, guys. It's Tuesday today. I'm still unemployed. I still got bugger all to do, so I might as well brew that beer again. <laughs> it's now half past three in the afternoon. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna. Try that again. Like I said, I've ordered a, a, a smaller auto siphon off the net to, to solve that bottling issue. There. <laughs> so I'm going to do the same recipe I did last time. I'll, I'll put I'll put the recipe below. If anyone wants to copy it, that's fine. It's my own recipe, so you can do what you want with it. And and I've been watching Adam. Cheers, Adam, from Baldy's Homebrew. You all know him, I'll put a link anyway. Um, and he he recently um, decided to do late flame out editions. And I'm going to copy you, Adam. Cheers for that. Rather than putting in... So for my recipe here, I've got 15 grams of hops that I would usually put in on... Just, just when I finish boiling, I turn it off, pop those hops in, and then cool it down. Uh, what Adam's recommended, and I'm sure we didn't make this up, I'm sure he's <laughs> he's read this somewhere. Um, I'm going to copy this idea. He, he recommends cooling, cooling it down to about 66 to 77 degrees, and then adding your hops and leaving it for half an hour. Um, so I'm going to give that a go. So I'm going to go brew some beer, guys.
another brew day done. It all went really well, except for one thing, one little thing, just towards the end, just right towards the end actually, I was just, you know, reading over my notes and I realised I added in one litre more than I needed during the sparge. Of course, it's only a small batch brew, so one litre is a lot. But there is one good thing. This here. I got it to work. Yes. 